Hey folks, we're back with another episode of I Teach. This time we're going to talk about smoking. As many people know, smoking uh, causes harm to literally every single organ in the body, including the eyes. Smoking is the single most preventable cause of death and disease. A study has shown that men who never smoke have a 78% chance of living to the age of 73 years, while this chance is reduced to 42% in those who start smoking by the age of 20 and don't stop. Many eye diseases are associated with cigarette smoking. However, in many cases, the biological mechanisms are unknown. When considering eyes specifically, cigarette smoking does increase the chance of developing these diseases. Dry eye syndrome. This is that burning, gritty, irritated sensation in the eyes. People who have dry eye syndrome are 1.5 times more likely to have been cigarette smokers. Uveitis. This is inflammation of the eye that causes symptoms like pain, light sensitivity, or difficulty seeing clearly. People with uveitis are 2.2 times more likely to be smokers. Age-related macular degeneration. This is a disease that affects our crystal clear central vision. Sometimes it either causes a waviness to the central vision or actual black spots. Depending on the type of age-related macular degeneration, current smokers have a two to four times higher risk compared to non-smokers. There's also a dose response relationship that has been observed, meaning men who smoked greater amounts of cigarettes were more likely to develop early macular degeneration. So the actual number of cigarettes smoked increased the risk of developing the disease. On the plus side, quitting smoking does reduce the risk of developing age-related macular degeneration. And after 20 years, that risk level is the same as non-smokers. Cataracts. This is a disease that affects the lens inside the eye and limits what's able to be seen. People with age-related or nuclear cataracts are 1.4 to 1.6 times more likely to be cigarette smokers. Diabetic retinopathy. This is a disease of the retina that people who have been diagnosed with diabetes are at risk of. It can affect the vision and is the most preventable cause of blindness. The relationship between cigarette smoking and diabetes is a little bit more complex, and some studies refute that there is a relationship there. However, a study found that patients with type 2 diabetes in the advanced study have shown that quitting smoking was associated with a 30% decrease in all-cause mortality and the benefits for reducing cardiovascular events were generally more consistent in patients who had stopped smoking for more than 10 years compared to those who had only recently stopped. Transient ischemic attack or stroke. The Framington Heart Study demonstrated that heavy smokers or greater than 40 cigarettes per day were twice as likely to have a stroke compared to light smokers between 1 and 10 cigarettes. The risk of stroke decreased after two years of smoking cessation and was at the level of a non-smoker after five years of quitting. The last disease is Graves disease or thyroid eye disease. This is a disease related to hyperthyroidism and is something that can cause restriction in eye movements, double vision, along with some other symptoms. Patients with thyroid eye disease are at a minimum two times more likely to have been cigarette smokers. So if we know smoking affects our entire body, including our eyes, what do we have to do to quit? There are two really good options uh, in terms of quitting. The first one is smokershelpline.ca. They also have a phone number that you can call, which I'll put on the screen here. The other option that people don't know about is that a lot of pharmacists are actually trained in smoking cessation as well. If you have a pharmacist that you normally see, ask if they're comfortable with smoking cessation. If they're not, you can either give us a call or direct message us because there are a couple in town that I know are comfortable with smoking cessation and I'd be more than happy to give out their details to you. That's it, quick one about smoking today. Thanks for listening. If you have questions, feel free to drop them below. If you have suggestions for future video content, please let us know as well. Take care.